Okay, so let's uh, just uh, test this in game and see if it works. Now I have um, actually forgotten to do something, and um, I'll see if you uh, realize what it is that I've forgotten. So once we go through our trigger, we get our little message that the trigger requires two people to activate. And um, there is the problem. Uh, it's the same thing that um, uh, you always do when you uh, add a new uh, trigger touched event into Kismet, um, is that I have forgotten to change the max trigger count. So I'm just going to change that to zero. And now, let's see if it works. So there we go. Uh, max trigger count has been um, set to zero or infinite number of triggers. And now I'm going to swap characters. I'll bring Bob into the um, sphere and grab Bill. And now, uh, as soon as Bill goes in there, we should get rid of our trigger, our light, and our mesh. Now we've gotten rid of our mesh, and you'll see that we also have gotten rid of our trigger, because we don't have our message anymore. But unfortunately, our light is still remaining. And that's because uh, we have used the wrong... Um, uh, the wrong operator or the wrong object in uh, Kismet in order to get rid of this light. So uh, I'll just fix that up now. I'll break links to the light and move it over to here. And what we need is to actually toggle that light um, to its off state. And so we can come into new action, toggle, toggle and we'll just go to turn off because we want to just switch this light off completely and we'll plug it in here and now if we run through and um, it's getting a little bit sort of tedious running around to um, uh, to get this link gun so just sort of during the testing period I might uh, make it that the default inventory is loaded up by the player. So now if I um, swap over and activate this trigger you can see that our light has indeed switched off. And so now we're ready for the uh, for the next part of the puzzle. And just before I forget I will come up to the world properties and I will um, uncheck no default inventory for player. Uh, I'll turn that back on when we uh, are ready to play the game properly uh, because I will want that sort of pause uh, for the character or for the player when he goes and gets that link gun just to um, just to give him the impression that um, uh, or to give him that sort of um, that progressing of the of the storyline. Uh, we will be picking up link guns anyway because we start the game with the um, really bad link gun, the, um, the the black link gun, not the white link gun, uh, which um, has very limited range. Uh, so we will have to uh, pick up link guns um, anyway. Uh, but with that with that uh, trigger set up, we're ready to uh, set up the next part of our puzzle. And the next uh, thing I want to do is um, activate. Um, two-person dual triggers or two-person two-trigger um, puzzles. So um, the way to do that, uh, or what I want these uh, triggers to do, is that when we come in here, and uh, currently I've got these doors set up to work with these triggers, I might delete these out, uh, but what I want to happen is that uh, once we um, activate our primary trigger over here. Uh, we actually come down to here uh, because two new um, triggers have appeared and we need to put one character on one trigger and the other character on the other trigger in order to have these doors open. And so, um, in order to get that started, 
Um, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to switch this over to a different color just so that I don't um, uh, I don't get too attached to this sort of flashing color. Uh, now um, we have this uh, this trigger color mat uh, which has the changeable color but I've also made a few um, basic um, color versions of this which don't have that uh, vector parameter and uh, these uh, these maps have um, colors that don't change over time but they are uh, for the the rest of it uh, basically the same. So what I'm going to do is uh, first I will grab this uh, material instance actor. I'm just going to get this out of the way because I don't want it to apply to that anymore. And I am going to drag the BB trigger purple mat and just opening that up um, you can see that it is basically the exact same network. It's just that instead of the um, uh, vector parameter, I have a simple um, uh, three vector uh, or constant three vector uh, here, which is uh, set to um, one red, one blue, and zero in green. And I might provide a fallback material while I'm in here. Okay and I am just going to drag this onto this static mesh. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'll actually um, rather than uh, fiddle around I'm going to come into Kismet and I will go to this point light and I'm just going to uh, break links here. Um, in fact I can delete that out because I can set the color in here directly. And I am just going to use a nice sort of purpley color, magenta color. Okay. So there we go. That's going to um, remain the same color throughout. And uh, now I'm just going to uh, grab the light, the sphere, and the trigger, and I'm just going to hold down Alt and Shift. I'm going to drag these into position so that, um, and holding down Shift means that we follow our movement around as well. I'm just going to drag these um, into the position that I want. So I'll put one here and just put it there so it's sitting in the in the ground like that. I'm just going to release Alt and Shift and then press them again. And I'm going to drag this, a uh, drag out a new copy over to this side. And there we go. And so those uh, those are our triggers. And uh, what I'll also do is I will go back to the content browser and because I want these to be uh, not purple, I want these to be uh, white uh, just to sort of give the player the color coding that um, uh, that the player needs in order to know that uh, anybody can activate these triggers even though we need two of them to be activated. I'm just going to drag uh, that um, uh, that color material onto the uh, object. I'm going to set the um, uh, the color of the lights to white. So I might as well just uh, do them both at the same time. So control clicking on that and F4 to bring up the properties and the color. I'm just going to set that up to white. Okay. And then I'm just going to drag this onto there. And so now um, our trigger and orbs are set up and they're ready to um, get started on the, uh, uh, the triggers in the uh, next video.